Good morning, St. Mark's, and welcome to our Holy Week Reflections. In our lectionary readings for today, we again find some encouraging words from the book of Isaiah. Today, from the 49th chapter, Listen to me, O coastlands, and hearken, you peoples, from afar. And now the Lord says, who formed me from the womb to be his servant, to bring Jacob back to him, and that Israel might be gathered to him, for I am honored in the eyes of the Lord, and my God has become my strength. He says, it is too light a thing that you should be my servant, to raise up the tribes of Jacob, and to restore the preserved of Israel. I will give you as a light to the nations, that my salvation may reach to the end of the earth. Listen to me, O coastlands, and hearken, you peoples from afar. I will give you as a light to the nations that my salvation may reach to the end of the earth. Listen to me, it begins, bringing to mind the words coming from the cloud at Jesus' transfiguration. This is my son, the beloved, with whom I am well pleased. Listen to him. The question is, are we listening to him? Can we even hear his voice above everything else, especially at a time like this? In John's Gospel, the 10th chapter, we have Jesus' discourse about the Good Shepherd, some of my favorite imagery in all of Scripture. It says, the sheep follow their shepherd because they know his voice. But it can be hard, can't it? With so many other things we need to be listening to, like healthcare professionals or governmental officials or those we are trapped with. I mean, those that we are blessed to be living with. And we also need to listen to ourselves, don't we? To that self-preserving voice that is encouraging us to take time to sleep and to eat and to pray. One of the greatest hymn writers of all time, Charles Wesley, wrote that giant of a hymn, Oh, for a thousand tongues to sing. Jesus, the name that charms our fears and bids our sorrows cease, tis music in the sinner's ears, tis life and health and peace. Tis music in the sinner's ears. Do you hear it? During strange and difficult times like this especially, we do well to be careful to be listening for the voice of our Good Shepherd because sheep tend to wander away to where the fields are barren and the water undrinkable. Prone to wander, Lord, I feel it. Prone to leave, the God I love. In the midst of all that is going on right now, do you hear the voice of your good shepherd? Maybe we should be praying more for ears to hear him. So let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, inasmuch as we are truly like lost sheep without you as our good shepherd, we pray that you would indeed guide us by your Holy Spirit, this week in particular, giving us eyes to see, ears to hear, hearts to believe, and hands to serve, through Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. Before we close, did you know that the majority of contributions to St. Mark's Church are received through the Sunday offering? Well, it's true. And because we've been worshiping online now for several weeks, that means that it's important for prisoners to either send in their pledge or gift or do so online or through text. Whatever method you choose, thank you in advance for your support of the church as we are seeking new opportunities now to fulfill our vision to be a vibrant and thriving parish where Christ's loving spirit radiates to all generations in our community. For more information on giving to St. Mark's, you can click on the link below. Now, go in peace to love and serve the Lord.